with you. It's been a whole nother day and uh, we're going to start doing some wall sheeting today. So let's go, let's do this. This is Clarence Cadiddle Hopper and you're watching my YouTube channel. Woo doggy, let's go build, break, or blow something up. Okay, so the very first thing we need to talk about is the fact that uh, I recorded about a half an hour of stuff and didn't have any, any kind of sound. No microphone, no nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you very quickly what I did. I cut some stuff, I measured some stuff, I recut, and then we put it inside. How's that? I'll show you the clip. Just I'll show it to you fast and then we'll get back to the regular recording. Go with me. All right guys, so here's the piece that we had pre-cut uh, with no sound that you just watched, so. And that's pretty easy, I mean. We just took a measurement. And now we're gonna hang this dude. Now some people would be saying, well, why aren't you using uh, you know, liquid nails or something like that? Well, I don't really care to, so how's that for an answer? All right, so that's one. One down. Now, you know what? God made trim for idiots like me and cabinet makers. So I'm not real worried about if I'm perfect or not. I'm gonna put another piece up and then I'm gonna have trim. So, but what we are gonna do is we're going to quit filming for a while. We'll come back and we'll show you what we got done. I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Ta-da! That's a major screw up. Cut it backwards. And for whatever reason, way off. I have no idea what I measured that made it that wrong. Holy cow. What the crap? I'm not even sure where I can use this. All right guys, guess what? I took a break, but I'm back. <laughs> We're gonna keep going. I've got probably one of the most difficult cuts of the entire uh, camper, except for I got another one just like it on the other side. But let's get to it.
Hey guys, guess what? It fit. And not only did it fit, I turned it around and put it on the other side. And it's close enough for that one. All I got to do is transcribe it over. And use it over there. Hot dog. But I'm gonna put my gate back on, my little fence, and rip this down to the 46 and a half like the other one. And of course, that's the beauty of all this stuff. This stuff's not straight. It's not, not ever gonna be perfect. You just don't get good stuff like that anymore. But we work with what we've got and we smile and we just know that we're doing stuff with our hands and we're enjoying it. So even though things have went crazy today for me, I'm gonna keep on going. There you go, no need to reinvent the wheel. It fit on one side and it fit on the other side, so why not bring it back in and mark it off? That saved me a lot of time right there. I'm gonna go hang this one. What do you do when you're in a situation like this, son? What'd you catch on? I forgot that the piece of metal that it, the doorknob catches on sticks in further than the other metal. So I'm actually rolling against the metal. So here's what I'm gonna do. We are going to see just how much of a sawzall master I am. That is not the normal way you'd do that. But it worked. And it's good enough to go out. It's good enough for the girl I go out with. She probably won't ever notice. Batteries on 15 and storage is getting low. Okay. So we're going to nail this to going. And we'll keep going. We'll come back and we'll show you some stuff after we get some more walls done and possibly even the ceiling. Y'all have a good one. Because from here on out, it's pretty well just straight cutting. Catch you in a minute. Nah. All right guys, so I said I would come back and show you what we did. As you can see, the sun's going down. And it has been an epically long day. Mistakes were made. People, people just got their feathers ruffled, but that's okay. Okay, nobody got feathers ruffled. But check this out. Oh, <laughs> Well, and there goes one of my LED lights, but that's okay. So, 
pretty cool though. We got the ceiling and we got everything. But you know what guys? I'm stinking tired. And I'm ready. I'm ready to be done for today. But you know what guys? It's okay. We're gonna continue on. This project's gonna just keep getting better and better. Next thing we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna start laying out the cabinets and all the furniture and all the other stuff in here. And then we're gonna get real. And we're gonna build it all. That's where I lay it out. I'll catch y'all on another day. And y'all, as always, go build, break, or blow something up. I'll talk to you later. Nah.